So Damian Lillard has been shut down for the rest of the 2023 season. It's unfortunate the Portland Trailblazers will not be in the playoffs this year because y'all know I love Dame Dollar, man. I really do. But he has got no help on that squad. And you got to respect the hell out of him for staying loyal to this team and wanting to win a ring with them. But he's just got no help. But today, we're going to get him some help. Not like Kanye West get him some help type. Like get him some help basketball wise like get him some reinforcements so here's the rotation at the moment so i did start from today just to show you all right here there's about six games left uh basically since dame's not playing for the rest of the season i'm gonna make that a reality and make it realistic so um we're gonna start we are going to start uh keon johnson beautiful so th i don't care if he plays awful damian lillard's not playing the rest of the year just to make it realistic so but anyways we're gonna take a look at the rest of the squad right now so keon johnson i just started anthony simons i might keep him around if i can if possible um it's east Thibel. I mean, anyone on this team is really up for grabs other than Dame. I don't want to dish Dame. I want Dame to win a ring here in Portland. That's the goal. Jaden Sharp have himself a great first year. Drew Eubanks, Trenton Watford. Like, this is a young squad. Like, Dame's the captain with all these young bloods. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I'm just going to steal the rest of the season. Out of my... Oh, whoops. I didn't turn off injuries. I always forget to turn off injuries. How are we still winning games? Like, without Damian Lillard playing? Like, the, like what in the hell? Anthony Simons. That's how I should have guessed. I don't care how we do for the rest of the season. It's really just about drafting somebody decent. Uh, hopefully, we got a lottery pick. I don't know what this team's uh, draft situation is. Nikola Jokic is the MVP, which very well could happen. So we just going to sim right through the playoffs and uh, see what we can do. Celtics win the championship. That's how it's going to be this year. So, hate to break it, deal. Chris Paul retired. Wasn't expecting that. I, I don't really want to see him retiring this offseason. That would be kind of wild. And we get the third pick of the draft. Let's go. So I think we can get our hands on Brandon Miller, hopefully. Let's take a look at the, uh, the mock drafts out of my own curiosity. Scoot Henderson, I would take him. But at the same time, it's like I don't need him because I'm Dame. Like, I don't know. That makes no sense to me. I really want to draft a guy that could start. Brandon Miller would be nice. Can I trade up just to ensure I get Brandon Miller? I really don't know if that's possible. You want use of Nurkic, huh? I really would like to keep Nurkic around because simply, all right, there's a few trades here. Nurkic, then we get a pit. Rozier would be nice, but like, I don't really need Ro Oh, phew. you want Jabari Walker and a, and a few firsts? That's totally fine with me. Trade up. Yes, Brandon Miller. Let's go. I'm getting myself a small forward. Chauncey Billups is gone. I'm going to get the best coach in the game, like always. Beautiful. So we got the second pick of the draft. Obviously, Victor's going number one. It's going to the Magic. That's probably how it's going to be in real life. Um... So now we get to choose Brandon Miller, who was the guy I wanted all along. He, I think he'll be a great fit for this uh, Portland Trailblazers organization. So let's see what we can do with him. Brandon Miller starting off as a 79 overall. I will gladly take that. Thank you very much. So we're just about to enter free agency. I want to get rid of any bad contracts. Like Yusuf Nurkic, I really don't care about. But I really would like to package him for a better center if possible. So this roster is far from being done, obviously. So I got Jeremy Grant bat. That I'm fine with. I really need a center, like a big time center. So I'm definitely going to try to work up some sort of deal. That's that's definitely the goal right now. Go after DeMontis Sabonis. I think that's uh, definitely within our reach. And then use of Nurkic. I didn't think that was going to happen. So here's where we take some first uh, unprotected picks. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, that's not enough. How about we give you another first? I'm definitely going to need some more. Yeah. Or how about I give you a backup center? I give you I give you George Brooks too. Nope, that's not enough. How about I give you a second? Nope, still not enough. I think I need another pick. So let's go back and have a conversation with the Kings. I just traded for another pick. We go for Sabonis. So you take Nurkic, you take, I'll give you another center. I'll give you another center in George Brooks, who I just signed. And I'll start giving you picks. Lottery protected, nope. Okay, totally fine. I know lottery protected picks are not worth as much, but that's totally fine. Keep throwing first their way. Beautiful, done. We got DeMontis Sabonis. So Jeremy Grant, De no, DeMontis Sabonis, I'm totally fine with. Brandon Miller, we got the Rook running the three. Anthony Simons is there as well. And then obviously Dame Dollar running the squad. So the one-two punch off the bench is J uh, John Wall and Shaden Sharp. That's totally fine. I don't like Dwayne Dedman being the backup Senna, so I'm definitely going to try and improve there. See, how realistic is this trade, though? You know what I mean? Like, I'd rather keep John Wall around, but at the same time, there's our backup center right there, freaking Bobby Portis. I think that makes the most sense, don't it? Like, I don't know. Uh, let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. This is really what I was after was... um. The first round, first round pick. I, that's what I was after. Now, the ideal backup center I was thinking is somebody who is very dominant right now and still obviously on their rookie deal is Alfred Sangoon. So we go over here. We throw Dwayne Dedman in. That's probably not going to happen. Nope. Okay, we'll make up the trade difference. Yep. Uh, they want Anthony Simons. Hell no, not happening. We'll give you that first. We'll give you the first rounder. Nope, not got that. Wow, they want Jeremy Grant too. No, Jeremy Grant. I will give you a multi. I'll give you another pick. Nope. Okay. How about you take another second? Another second. Oh, I think I'm like one first rounder away. Okay, this one. How about no pick? 
How about no pick? And then I give you that in return. Nope. Okay. Oh, two seconds and Dwayne Dedman. Sure. Just to get another first rounder over here. Now we're back over for Sangoon. I don't know. Uh, Luke Cornette. That's definitely not going to happen. They want Anthony Simons. Jason Tate. Not happening. Who am I willing to give up? Who's like the highest person I'm willing to give up? Kenrich Williams. Perfect. You need to get. You need to give up a roster spot. Totally fine. Give me Darius Days. Then I will give you first rounder. Nope. I'll give you this first rounder beautiful done we got our backup center so i feel like i'm one bench piece away just out of my own curiosity who's a free agent just if possible i mean westbrook but can i sign westbrook no i can't no I, it's, that's, that's not gonna happen oladipo no i can only afford minimum deals right now so i just signed marquise chris just to immediately flip him for a draft pick i'm just out or maybe even explore see what i can get boom right there there's a first rounder i'll take that take cody martin we take a first rounder, we throw it out there. Hopefully we can find that missing bench piece like Alec Burks is possible. Moses Brown, not bad. I'd really like to get more of a wing though. Like Matisse Thibault is not a bad idea. Otto Porter, Otto Porter's of an option. Jay Sean Tate. I think we found it, ladies and gentlemen. Jason Tate. That's the that's the one. I don't want no 11-man rotation. That's for damn sure. I don't want Luke Cornette getting minutes. That's for damn sure. Sangoon's getting a lot of minutes. Same with Sabonis. Um, Lillard. I need Lillard playing a lot of minutes. Then I'll give the re remaining minutes to uh, Anthony Simons. Awesome. So there's the squad. We're running a nine-man rotation. Let's see how this squad does. Let's just go first game just to show y'all. Simulate through date. We lose by a lot. That's not a good sign. Oh, my God. The 2K Sim Engine is not helping us today. All right. Maybe it was a fluke loss. Maybe it was a fluke loss. Lost. Yep, we win the next game, beating the Kings. Kings are a very good team. We did take some bonus from them, so they're definitely not as good. Lillard had 27 points, uh, 15 and 14 for the Rook. Let's simulate through the season, see how we do. So Darius Garland is MVP. Rookie of the Year, surprisingly, surprisingly, not really, is Victor Wembanyama, Alperin Sangoon, sixth man of the year for us, absolutely, glad we brought him in, then DPOY in his rookie year, Victor Wembanyama, Evan Mobley most improved, and then your coach of the year is J.B. Bickerstaff, Brandon Miller, all rookie first team, he had himself a year, averaging 18 a game, so we're starting off in the five seed, uh, simulate the plan, obviously we're going up against the Phoenix Suns, Phoenix Suns still having basically, so the Malachi Flynn's run point, oh, Dame Dollar's about to have a Field day. Are you kidding me? What how did what happened there? What oh right, Chris Paul retired. That's what happened. And Juan Phillips is their three. Okay. Our rook and our vet are about to have a field day, or at least they should. Simulate through game. We win game one, win by ten. Alright, how did that go? Anthony Simon's doing his thing. Absolutely. Alright, let's keep going. Simulate through game. Game one uh game two goes to the Suns. Game three goes to us. Basically in a team effort, everyone playing well. Game four. Suns. Game five. Suns. Oh man. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Game. We're at home. We should at least be pushing seven if we're at home. This is a close game, ladies and gentlemen. We got a good one. We got an absolute good one. We're up 12 right now. Up uh, 16. Oh, yeah. We're running away. Yep. This game is long gone. There we go. Anthony Simons got himself 31 points. Damian Lillard is not showing up, and he's not taking enough shots right now. Game seven. I'm sorry. <laughs> game seven on the road. Here we go. Need a big time upset. Need to get Dame Dahl into the next round. All right. We are off to a good start. The Suns are trying to crawl their way back. Looks like the defense is trying to come through. We were up 16. Oh, we are up a lot. And wow, this is a close game. But we win by seven. And that is all she wrote for round one. Playing against the one seeded Thunder. You know, Shea Gilgis Alexander out here doing his thing. Dame versus Shea. That's a good matchup right there. They also got Josh Hart, Josh Giddy. They got the two Joshes right there. Jalen Williams and Chet Holmgren. Now, this is a good team this is a real good team they should give us a challenge but we win game one by 14 damian lillard with 26 and 5 21 and 5 and 3 for the rook all right here we go come on now and game two goes to them game three goes to them game four goes to us so we tie it up so we're not out of it just yet 22 and 8 22 and 11 sabonis miller lillard did not have the greatest game but it's all right game five we take game five we take care of business let's go lillard with 35 i spoke too soon oh another seven game series should have guessed all right no problem here we go on the road again can we do it on the road again? The Thunder fans want a conference finals appearance, but we ain't we ain't about to let them. We ain't about to let them. Oh, I might have spoke too soon. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yep, we're up. We're up. Win by 15. Let's go. Lillard with 37. Man, he wants that rank. Going up against the three-seeded Memphis Grizzlies, John Morant, Desmond Rain, Dylan Brooks, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Steven Adams. No difference there. Conference finals should be a good one. Here we go. Game one goes to Memphis by a lot. Game two goes to Mount, oh, man. Game three. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on, don't do this to me right now. Just the rotation, make it whatever we have to be. 11 man, I don't care. So we're at home, Push, just push another game. It's game by game, here we go. Do not get swept in the conference finals. That's just embarrassing. Dame has had that happen to him before. He doesn't want it to happen to him again. And they're running away with this one. But we just went on a little bit of a run and we are in the lead now. And this is a close game. Oh yeah, we about to win. We up by seven, so we stay alive. Brandon Miller had 32. 
We're going to go game by game, go simcast by simcast here. If we can reverse sweep just by a simple rotation change, that would be, we're about to win this game by a mile. That would be insane in itself. Brandon Miller, the rook, doing rookie things out here. Not really rookie things. Not a lot of rookies be playing like this in the conference finals. So are we going to do it again? Okay, no, this game's a lot closer. This game's a lot closer. Okay, I'm, I'm going real slow because I'm nervous. We're down seven, down seven again. Yeah, we're done this one. Yep. Okay, we lose by eleven. Not a bad effort though. I can't, I can't be mad. It was not a bad effort. John Wall had 24. The Rook didn't really show up this time. Neither did Damian Lillard. But going on to season two. So Bonus is trying to walk out on us, um, and he's not even interested in negotiating with us. I have no idea why. I mean, we gave him all the minutes he wanted. So it's totally fine. We got Sengun though. So we're just gonna need a backup center. We should be fine because Sengun is Sengun. He does Sengun things. I mean, I can't afford Anthony Davis, unfortunately. I'd have to trade a lot of money away, which I'm low-key considering. Anthony Simons is young, and he's an up-and-comer, but I don't know. I feel like he's taking a lot of shots away from Dame, and I don't like that, so I'm just going to throw him out here and see what I can get. See, look, Jared Allen, but I'd have to give up Sengun, so I'm not going to do that. See, part of me wants to trade for, like, a Marcus Smart type, because Marcus Smart can run the two and defend real well, and he wouldn't score a lot, so that means that would leave more room for Damian Lillard. I don't know if this helps or hurts us. Let me just go through the rest. Uh, oh, my God. Okay, wow. That's that, that's a really good deal. But then again, I could just dump his $50 million on the Spurs and take their picks, which is also, also something to consider. I'm going to do it because you know why? I want Jalen Brown. I still can't afford Jalen Brown, though. I still have to make some room. Yeah, John Wall's making a lot of money. Like, he played well as a backup last year, but he's getting older, so don't need that. Um, just take two first rounders for him, clear up some more room. Basically starting from scratch now, ladies and gentlemen, Jalen Brown. Still not enough to get Jalen Brown. Shaden Sharp did not play that well, so we're going to dump his contract on somebody. How does this trade even make any sense? Like, how, do, how does getting Jordan Poole make any sense for either side? It doesn't. So we'll trade for Capella, immediately flip Capella, get rid of his contract because I did not like that at all. All right, so we should be in a spot where we can sign a major person. Like, I'm going to offer a contract to Kawhi Leonard who I should be able to afford. Jalen Brown, I'm going to give mad money to as much as I can, really. Anthony Edwards is also getting an offer. I'm going to offer him as much money as I can because I would really love to have him here. So it looks like Anthony Edwards is going to come to Portland and they match the offer sheet. Jalen Brown's going to the Raptors. And, oh, come. I hate this game. That's so annoying. They got to get rid of that in this game, I swear. Tyrese, please. Tyrese, please, please. And then DeJounte Murray, I'll give him another contract just in case. So I have a starting lineup, but I have no bench. And it's a good starting lineup, by the way, I might add. So here's where we get a sign a lot of people. There's our six man. Boom, Buddy Heald. Give him a contract. Get him on the team. Yes, sir. There he is. Backup point guard, somebody that can throw dimes. TJ McConnell. We'll bring back Jason Tate as a trade piece. Piece. Seth Curry can be a trade piece as well. Same with Jermichael Green. So our top six is looking great. Uh, absolutely love that. Uh, there's just the rest of the bench needs to be worked out. Need a backup point guard, a backup center, maybe another backup wing. So we got some work to do. Boom, rookie deal. Mark Williams going to go after him. We're going to trade away anyone I can trade away. Like, I don't want to trade TJ McConnell away just yet because he might. I might run him as the backup point because the guy can throw dimes. Absolutely. Jermichael Green straight up. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. This is where picks come in. I don't want to give up on my – I have a lot first let's just throw the second at them that's not happening so first rounders are gonna have to make it happen first of all Sengun starting mark williams isn't uh and then buddy hill is gonna be the sixth man so let's just fix that real quick center and small forward you know what tj 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 i will give you tj i'll give you 18 you will you will be in the rotation you'll be the backup point guard that's fine with me so another solid backup guard let's try and see what we can do there scoot henderson still on that rookie deal Let's just give it a shot. Add that trade exception. That's not going to happen. It's, it's, it's possible, though. Let's throw a multitude of first rounders at him. Boom! That did not take long. Yes, I had to give up TJ McConnell, but that's totally fine. To getting rid of TJ McCollum ain't a big deal. McCollum, TJ McConnell. God, I can't talk today. This team very badly needs a backup shooting guard or power forward, as y'all can see. So let's see if we can go after somebody. Jonathan Kuminga is still cheap. Let's see if we can do something there. Jason Tate, you want Jason Tate? That's not happening? Okay. What if I throw some picks at you? I'm going to throw some picks at you. We got plenty of first rounders to go around. Come on. Who wants some first picks? First round picks. This is basically to finish off the team. Wow, that didn't do it. I am amazed I didn't do it. All right. I'll throw another player at you. I will throw another player at you. You want Luke Kennard? You can take him. Yep, that does it. Okay. So we got a backup point guard, small forward, power forward, center. I love the bench. Loves it. Running a nine-man rotation. Got 13 minutes to locate. So Dame, 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 Dame. 
Dame, Dame, Dame is getting some minutes. DeJounte Murray is getting some more minutes as well. I feel like Brandon Miller is not getting enough minutes, but hey, I'm going to run with this rotation. I think the squad should be very good. We're going up against the guys that knocked us off. Or sorry, no, the Grizzlies knocked us off. We beat these guys last year. We didn't beat them this time around. That's totally fine. Brandon Miller did his thing out here. Here we go. So we finished the season at 53 and 29. A lot better. I think about 9 or 10 wins better than last year. So that's great in itself right there, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, Darius Garland, MVP, JT Jameson, Rookie of the Year. I'm in Thompson, Sixth Man of the Year. Victor Wembanyama, another DPOY form. Taylor Hendricks, most improved. Then JB Bickerstaff is your coach of the year. So we are the two seed last year as opposed to being either the four or five seed last year. I can't remember entirely, but we are going up against the Dallas Mavericks, who I assume have Luka still. Yes, they do. Luka, Kyrie, Tim Hardaway Jr., Kyle Anderson, and Nikola Vucevic. So I'm liking the matchups. I think we can win this for sure, considering they're the seventh seed. So we should take care. Okay, they win game one, and then they win. We win game two. Brandon Miller doing his thing out here. Game three, pivotal. Goes to us. Brandon Miller, 30 points. Yes, sir. Game four. Goes to us. Let's go. Take care of business, boys. Game five, uh, Game four. Damian Lillard had 26, 4, and 6. Wrap it up. Yep, it's wrapped up. Yes, sir. Who who did well? Brandon Miller. I think he's going to have himself a playoffs this year. The OKC Thunder. We meet again, ladies and gentlemen, game by game. Let's see if they change at all. They should still have Shea. Obviously, they do. Josh Giddy, Preston Barber, who I'm assuming is an auto-generated rookie. Jalen Williams and Chet Holmgren. Game one goes to the Thunder by eight. Game two goes to the thunder by eight game three oh my god 2k don't do this to me right now time to adjust the game plan apparently all right just you know what if coach stoffer wants to run in a, an 11 man rotation i do not necessarily agree with 11 man rotations but in this case it is what it is i am desperate i want us to win this game obviously i want us to push this and we are winning by a lot and we are going to walk out of here with a victory it's looking like yeah by a mile there we go 146 points we put up on them 32 and 10 for damian lillard going on to the next game we stay alive and we are at home this time so Let's see if we can push a game six and we should and we are low-key starting to run away never mind this is a close game it's closer than i thought this is the third quarter here we go we are up by a lot we are running oh yep oh yep this is wraps ladies and gentlemen we are done another great performance jonathan kaminga led the way game six can we push game seven because if we push game seven we're in great shape because then we're at home we have oh yeah we're running away with this all one simple lineup change ladies and gentlemen one simple lineup change there we go brandon miller 29 game seven at home we are about to reverse sweep the thunder do not blow it right now i will be so pissed if we blow it there's no reason we should blow this come on we're, we're winning. We're up by 13. We're, like, trying to run away with it, and we are up by nine. Yep, we win by seven. I will take it. Conference finals against the freaking New Orleans Pelicans. We're the five seed. Zion, Walker, Kessler, that's a great front court in itself. Obviously, they have Brandon Ingram. They still got CJ and Herbert Jones. So, here we go, boys. Here we go. Game number one goes to us. Brandon Miller had 23, 21 and 10 for Sangoon. Game two goes to the Pelicans. Game three goes to us. Brandon Miller with the 36 piece. Let's go. He's been a he finna be conference finals MVP if we win, but we didn't. It's tied right now. Here we go. Oh man, come on. Don't be down. Don't be down. Come on. Fixing the rotation once again. Just want to make sure we got the best guys out there. So, got to win back to back, y'all. Here we go. If we push this, we're in good shape because we'll be at home. So, do not let the Pelicans run away with it. Do not let the Pelicans. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're taking off. We're taking off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is done. I don't even need to do not. Wait a minute, right? We're not blowing the lead. Okay, we're good. We won by 12. We're good. Good. Scoot Henderson had himself a game, 23 points. Game seven, here we go. At home for Damian Lillard to go to his first ever NBA Finals. And we're losing by a lot. But are they going to make the comeback? Are they going to make the comeback? They are. They are low-key making. Yes, sir, we got ourselves a game, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Oh, my God. Up by six. Up by eight. Up by four. Slow it down. Just to make sure... Oh my god, oh my god, I think it was a two-point victory. But Brandon Miller, your conference finals MVP, what did I say? We won back-to-back, -back. he had to be clutch, and he was clutch. Okay, how did he play in that game? He had to have been the leading way, but he wasn't. 25 for him and for Dame Dalla as well. Trailblazers and Celtics, I love my boys in green, but I have to take them down right now. Game number, let me just take a look, first of all, let's take a look at the Celtics. Robert Williams, Kendrick, Kenrich Williams, I got Williams and Williams, Tatum, OG and Unobi, and Malcolm Brogdon. That's a little odd, so Jalen Brown obviously ain't here anymore. Game number one goes to us by three three oh it's gonna be a good series 25 for brandon miller game two goes to us oh yeah here we go 20 and 10 for damian lillard he wants it game three. Oh yeah oh yeah 27 for brandon come on come on now come on that low-key hurts that low-key hurts if if i was a Celtics fan i just watched that massacre my fist would be through the wall but um yeah shante murray had himself a good game game four and uh that is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Damian Lillard is an NBA champion. And man, if y'all enjoyed the video, please remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see y'all soon.